Thank you so much for talking to me, guys. Um, a bit surreal. I've been binge watching the show for the past like two days, so uh, <laughs> seeing you on the screen's a bit bit odd. Um, what was it that attracted you to the project and to the characters in particular? Um, I was instantly drawn to this project, just the uniqueness of an all female cast, you know, mm -hmm. and then like the fact that it was an ensemble as well uh, was was really attractive. Just you don't often get to see like really rounded, full fledged characters. Um, all of them being portrayed in that way in a series. Um, usually it's following one person and then you really get in depth with that one person. But um, with this, like there was so much to each character and they were so layered and, um, you know, I, I could relate to all of them in different ways or, or like I knew someone like that. And um, I knew that it was going to be something entertaining and unique. And mm. I, I really, really wanted to be able to, to do that representation justice is all, also for, for Fatten as well. You know, um, she's so different from me, but I, I know her. Yeah. And, um, and I wanted to step into that mindset and sort of experiment with it and um, like find, find what sort of influences that, like influences a person to be like that. And then also like what influences them to like realize it and step out of it. And like, what's, what's the factors there? Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think it's like the same, just being able to read and see fully, fully fledged female characters is just so incredible to, to be a part of. And they, they have a voice and they are people. It's just so incredible to see just eight of us on screen, just really just like kicking goals. It's really awesome. Yeah, yeah. I loved um, so many things about the show, but the sort of, as you're saying, the complexities of the characters and how it shows them in all their sort of messy bits and wonderful bits and, and, and everything. Um, and I love the way it looks at the sort of challenges that, that young women face today. What, what, do you think are the biggest kind of challenges facing young women growing up in the world? I think that social media, I mean, yeah. I'm, I know that this is a heavy topic, um, heavy in the, in the sense that I feel like people talk about it a lot, but I don't think people like realize fully to what extent that sort of has on someone who's developing um, on their psyche, you know, because you're like a sponge at that age and um, you're sort of like taking in what you're seeing from the world, but when you have it all in the palm of your hand um, or like, you know, what you think is all of it in the palm of your hand. Um, and then you're like, okay, what, what world am I going into one? And then also like, who do I want to be? And um, you don't usually have to face those questions until later in your life, but to be like a young adult um, and then having to like figure out your own brand, um, and how you want to be perceived, but then also like think that it's important to isolate those things and um, and 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 really solidify them because that's what you see online with all of these other curated accounts. And then like that sort of like shifts your mindset and your goals in life to like what you want to do. And it, it all ultimately is just like so much more shallow than what you are able to be um, exposed to having not lived a life in social media your entire life, you know? And then if you're not a part of it, you're ostracized. Mm -hmm. So you have to be, and, um, and that's very, very damaging. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much for your time. It was wonderful to talk to you both. I'd love to, to stay longer, but you, I know that you've got lots of people to chat to. So um, congratulations and um, good luck for the future. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Have a good day. Cheers. Take care.